This is Kevin Mayo, and today we're doing a quarantine clean out the fridge. It's not really a review. We just got some beer kicking around in our fridge. Uh, and so I figured we would go ahead and just crack them and uh, talk about a beer a little bit on, during the quarantine. First one I have is a Treehouse Human Condition Milk Stout. It is 7.9% alcohol by volume. And this thing has been hanging around my fridge forever. I didn't intentionally start to age it, but this was canned on 328 of 19, and today is April 3rd of 2020. So it's exactly a year old. Um, and like I said, it wasn't intended to be aged, but it just was in the back of my fridge, just kicking around, kicking around, kicking around. And so we'll go ahead and give that a crack and see what we got. I hope everybody's doing well and staying safe and quarantining and staying home. Though I really do miss going out and hanging out with my buddies and visiting breweries and stuff like that. So we have a dark stout or a black stout. Pitch black, cannot see a thing through it. Got about a half a finger, but this is a really dark head on this. This is a, a darker brown. It's not a tan or a light brown, but a darker brown. Actually, aroma-wise, it smells really good. That deep roast chocolate, a little bit of uh, milk chocolate, a little bit of uh, dark coffee. Wow. Nice and sweet. This, held, this actually held up really well. I didn't tell, intend to go out and, like I said, go out and tend it. It's nice and sweet, milk chocolatey, roasty, malty. Wow, this is really good, and it's a still a little, uh, still a little cold. It's going to open up even more as it warms up. That is really good. Next, I got the Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Ale. This is the mass-produced one. I reviewed this a while back. This has been in the fridge for a long time too. I don't really know how long. Um, it's at least six months, if not more. My son bought it for a function, like he. Last summer, I think, and it left me a couple, and I never got around to drinking them, and they're just kicking around. So let's go ahead and get the opener, and get a quick pop on that. Again, this is not a beer that you would typically age. I was looking fast for the ABV on it. I didn't see it, but this is not a heavy duty, this is not a stout or anything like that. It's it's a, just an uh, ale aged in bourbon. It is pretty, actually looks almost like a lager. It's a, a pale yellow or to a, maybe a little bit darker yellow. Fair amount of combination going up through it. Lo and behold, it's actually filtered. You can see through it. Uh, we've got just a little bit of head on it, and it is fairly bright white on it, so You can still smell the bourbon Got a little bit of sweetness in there a little bit. I don't want to say corn syrup And I don't I'm not because I'm not trying to disparage this beer. I don't think they use corn syrup a little Yeah, just a little bit of like something sweet in there. Okay, we'll give this one a try. Again, this may be a year old, and it's not a beer you typically age. It's got a little bit of sweetness, a hint of the bourbon. It's kind of mellowed out. It's not very strong. And it's, uh, again, I said earlier, the corn syrup, but there's just like a hint of sweetness in there, um, but like more on a malt sweetness. I, again, I'm not trying to, it's actually pretty good. I'm really surprised. I figured this was just going to be a hot mess. Just a beer that, you, like I said, you wouldn't really age. You wouldn't even think about aging it. And it's been there, I'm, I'm still going to guess, last summer. So it's eight or nine months old. It's held up extremely well. I'm getting a little bit of, um, like, the bready cracker at the back end of it. Really good. 
really surprised. This one here actually can't age well. This is Mad Elf. This is 2019 Mad Elf. Ale brewed with honey and cherries from Trogues. It's like 11%, right? Yeah, ABV 11%. Low IBUs. I was a little surprised. I, I think I've had this before, but I think I've had it on draft typically. And uh, it's actually got Noba hops. It's got Saz and Holotow hops. I was really surprised. It's got a spicy Belgian yeast on it. And I bought this a little bit before Christmas, so it's about four months old at this point, five months old at this point. I had bought it to review sometime before Christmas, and here we are in the beginning of April. And because we're, we're stuck in our houses and we can't go out drinking, we've got to make drinking games up. So let's go ahead and give this one a crack. I guess, always, as always, if you like the reviews, please subscribe. This is actually a really good beer. This is a Christmas beer that comes out every year. And it is a beautiful ruby red. It is clear. It is filtered. Not a lot of combination. There's some small bubbles going up through it. I got about, maybe about a finger of just slightly off white head on it. Malty, yeasty, cherries. Got a little bit of earthiness on the bottom of it. A little bit of spice. I just got a little bit of spice, like a, like a nutmeg or a cinnamon. Cheers. Yeah, it's smooth. Actually, I think the honey comes out a little bit more forward than if you drank it fresh. But it's nice and smooth. Got just a hint of the alcohol warming with the 11%. The honey is up front. The cherries, you get just a hint of the cherries at back, at the back end. This is fantastic. This is really, really good at this age. I can't, I, I'm like, I'm at this age, this is like four months old. This is really good. Smooth, mellow, drinkable. This is, yeah. Fantastic. I'm not scoring. I'm not sitting here trying to think of a score. I'm not really scoring this. That's not the point of this. This is just, like I said, clean out the fridge, have a little fun, have a little chit-chat about some beers, and see how they held up. And they all held up extremely well. And they all held up much better than I expected. I typically don't think about aging a milk stout like this. Um, this I, but again, it's 8%, 7.9%, so I guess it's getting close up to that Russian Imperial Age uh, area. Uh, again, the Mad Elf, you don't typically thinking about aging it, uh, you know, a little, not, not even a secret, but it's, this is actually a beer that they do age. They got uh, the wooden fermenters there, and they take the, this is the base beer that they use, and they, ate it, ate, and they age it there at Trogues, like in a barrel aging system. So it is a beer that ages really well, but it's really well. But really surprising is, you know, I think of this as a cheap little beer. Um, like cashing in on the Bourbon County, uh, Bourbon County phenomenon a few years ago, uh, and it it really held up well. I was quite surprised. So, so anyway, if you guys got time and you shoot some reviews, clean out your fridges. Let us know what happened, or leave a comment and clean out your fridge and what's going on. And until next time, keep drinking.